gotta go. I'm serious, Liam. Don't look at me like that. Do you ever stop giving orders? I'm trying to be strong for us both. Why are you doing this? Because I'm sick and tired of trying not to. of PR opportunities, we're spoiled for choice. There are so many good causes and... Sorry, am I getting ahead? Um, no, no, I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just flagging a bit. So... I know the feeling. Maybe... So maybe um, uh... Jinx, you go first. No, 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 you please, um, I insist. I was going to propose we order a takeaway. Can't work on an empty stomach. You took the words right out of my mouth. Dwelt thy neighbour and all that. First off, it's love thy neighbour. And you can forget that for a start. Secondly, it's not like you're asking to borrow a cup of flipping sugar, is it? And I hate doing it. Well, you really think you'd be my first choice to have a made-up affair with? Dream on. <gasps> Look in the mirror. It's not like you're winning any first pro... Did you just say affair? Yeah, sorry. That bit must slip my mind. You've told the police we're having an affair? You'd have never bought the story otherwise. Say something. You're dead meat. It's not that bad. You back me up, they'll bin the charges. Michelle's none the wiser and everybody's happy. Everyone except me. I'm innocent. Look, I'm sorry, I just can't lie about something like this. But you've done it before. What's the difference between one night or 20? It's still cheap. Oh, here we go, with the blackmail again. Steve, haven't you flaming got it yet? I can't go back inside. I can't. I could handle it before. I could get through the days, but I'm not that person anymore and I just don't want to be. I'm, I'm, I'm begging you. As a mate, help me out. What's the story? Oh, thank. Okay. Well, if you do hear anything, well, of course it goes without saying. Yeah, and you. Thanks again. Night. What's the score? The Irish police have confirmed that Rosie hasn't entered the country and they're going to liaise with the Hollyhead police and start circulating a photograph immediately. Is that all? Oh, for the moment. Do you know, I don't know why we bother paying our taxes. I really don't. There's probably nothing else they can do anyway. Come off it, so if They don't call them plod for nothing. What did they say about the postcard? Only that it was a, a promising development. Of course it is, love. Going to have a handwriting checked out. Ah, Rosie wrote that. I still don't get why would she go to Wally Ed? It's not like she's got any friends there. Well, she ain't got any friends there. It doesn't stop her getting in trouble, does it? Hey, if you haven't got anything constructive to say, young lady, I suggest you keep it to yourself. So, what happens now? I'll sit tight and wait. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's Colin Farrell. You apply pressure, but don't munch the face off. <laughs> How is that different from the Brad Pitt? Because with BP, you kind of tilt your head like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're mad, do you know that? I'm just giving you the whole Daryl Morton movie experience. Mm. Mm. OK, who's next? Oh, well, for that, we have to move up a certificate. If your man might have a moment, ignore her. You can't. She's like one gigantic boil. What part of Don't Disturb do you not understand? Uh, we can't afford Tina. Come again? I've had a look at the books and she's costing too much. Go away. I'm cheaper. Well, I won't argue that. I'm asking for a clip. And you are asking for a job. And the answer is no. You're a knight in shining armour. 
There's worse things to be. Spoken like a true idiot. No argument there. Hey, hey. Cops at 12 o'clock. Looks like you're on, mate. Listen, if anybody says anything... Yeah, yeah, go, go on, go on. I'll keep your kebab warm. Uh, you the police, then? Yes, sir. And you are? Uh, Steve MacDonald. Oh, so you're the sugar daddy. I'm Detective Constable Hooch. I, uh, understand you might want to talk to me. You understand, right? Man, if we do this somewhere less public, well, I'm sure we can accommodate you. Grand love. Mm. Smashing. So. This isn't right, us sat here and Rosie. Hey, come on, it's OK. No, it's not, Kevin. I feel useless. Everybody does in a situation like this. Yeah, well, I'm afraid that isn't good enough for me. Yeah, well, there's nothing else we can do. I could go to Hollyhead and look for her for myself. But the police said... I've we'd... done nothing, Kevin, so far. It's early doors. Things are looking up, love. At least you've got a postcard from her. Even more reason to strike while the iron's hot. I'm not asking permission, Kevin. All right, we'll set our first thing. What about my swimming competition? I'm sorry, Sophie, that is the least of our priorities. We've got to do this, love. No, you don't. Dad, please! Look, you can't just go swanning off on some wild goose chase. What happens if Rosie turns up at that door tomorrow? But you're right. We can't just sit here and do no. I'll drive Sally. You stay here and hold the fort till we get back. <coughs> no argument, son. Us men have got a duty to see you out properly. Third time round especially. Why especially? Well, because you've hit the jackpot, that's why. I suppose you're right. I still don't want any surprises, though. Mm. Tough. I'm not kidding. Neither am I. You may be the sporran of the north up here, but this time tomorrow your bagpipes will be ours. <laughs> If Janice has sent you to beg for forgiveness, then you're wasting your breath. I've come to speak to Dan. We're all ears. In private. This won't take long. I heard about the accident. How's he doing? Squealing like a stuck pig the last time I saw him. Oh, oh, Rita, please, that's hardly a Christian sentiment. Oh, come off it. You'd think he invented back pain. Oh, listen, how are you going to go on with the shop, you know, with, with Norris away? Well, I hadn't really given it much thought. It'll be hard pushed to run it alone. Yet she's right, you know. I suppose. Well, truth to tell, we're stretched thin as it is. Then hire someone. I'd feel like I was waving the white flag. Oh, now, don't talk nonsense, Rita. You've earned the right to put your feet up. More hands make lighter work. Mm. Well, I'll place an advertisement tomorrow. Heaven knows what our brave little soldier will make of it. Oh, oh it'll be our little secret. No sense in distressing him further. Ain't she wear a blanket? Yeah. She won't let us have any fun. <laughs> I know you're angry. I'm not angry, I'm disgusted. And the places I've been to and the things I've seen, that's saying something. I know I lied, but I only did it to help you. Well, that's what flaming scares me. You're out of control, Leanne. Oh, well, I didn't hear you complain when I was offering you cash. Well, that's before I knew it was blood money. Mistake. You reckon? <laughs> You're the last person to judge. I'm like a choir boy compared to you. Just give me another chance. Right, so you can drag me down with you. Tar, but no tar. You know what the funny thing is about all of this? Is that I could just about deal with the old ex-tart thing, but ex-human being, nah. You damaged goods. Go to hell! <laughs> Nicky won't be back in a hurry. Can I help you? Uh, not in this lifetime, love, no. Um, have you ever thought of service with a smile? Oh, I, I really don't need this. Tough. You've got an attitude, girl, and that costs a business like this money. Your average customer, i.e. drunk bloke, wants two things, OK? Grub and a bit of the other. A bit of the other? It's the oldest rule in the book. 
you've got to put out to get out. Flash a bit of teeth and cleavage. Act like a tart, you mean? Well, it's better than being a Maldi cow. <laughs> I'm out of here. Don't be like this. I'm only trying to help. I still can't believe I didn't get to show you my Daniel Craig. Ah, just the man. I quit. I'm done. Finito. Your mum's welcome to the place. Whoa, whoa, hold back. No one tells me how to smile. What's she? The Mona Lisa. The scream more like. Look, I'm sorry, but enough is enough. Selling dog meat to fat sweaty blokes is one thing. But taking a lip like that off a woman who makes Peter Stringfellow look like a feminist? I don't think so. I'll pick up my wages tomorrow night. Now that is an impressive young woman. She's very loquacious, I'll grant you that. And a good deal more besides, I'll wager. That's your story. It's not a story, but you're sticking by it. That's what happened. And during the hours you specified, Rebecca Granger didn't leave your sight. Not once. This the little lady? Yep. She's tidy looking. And what's that got to do with anything? Everything. You see, I find it pretty hard to believe anyone would be interested in my suspect in the first place. But taking her for a bit on the side when you've got a woman like that at home, you need your head examiner. Yeah, well, it's just a bit of fun, you know. I hope for your sake it is. I'd hate for it to end in tears. You're free to go. And Steve, don't do anything I wouldn't do. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Well, excuse me, we're getting meaningful here. Mm. Never get him on the shots. Before you know it, he'll be declaring stuff. Oi! Want to see that dress? I take it as pretty. <laughs> Try mind blowing. I'm very glad to hear it. Yeah, even my brother liked it, which is saying something. Liam saw it. Yeah, he popped over with some info for you about the stag. Our ten point plan for oblivion. Right, it's time to catch up. What we drinking, guys? I should uh, be heading home. Tony, chillax, yeah. The stag do starts tonight. Night. <laughs> Good night, love. <laughs> Mr. G, you're a legend. <laughs> Dib. What? Are you OK, Tony? Fine, yeah. You look about ready to drop me. Just about hard, man. Need a cab. Problems get in. I thought I told you to get dressed. Tony could be in any minute. I'm not leaving. Look, I really can't deal with this right now. Well, you're going to have to, cos I love you, Carl. Just go, please. Not until you tell me how you feel. Tell me. It's not that easy. It is when you know what you want. How did we get here? Look, I suppose. Hey babe, I'm just checking you're okay. Give us a call when you pick this up. Love you. Now, is that Ooch a total scumbag or what? Uh, well, I got the impression you weren't his flavour of the month either. I'm sorry. So, how do you reckon it went then? Look, I think he bought it. You, you think? We're not wearing cuffs, are you? Oh. Um, Steve. I won't forget this, you know. 
Oh dear, whatever. No, you, you've took a massive risk for me. Well, just as long as there's no comeback, yeah? Well, it won't be. Now, why am I not surprised? You pair of skivers. <laughs> Don't look so worried. I'm only kidding. <laughs> Anyway, listen, I'm glad I've got the two of you together. I've been talking to our Tom, and I reckon that the hens and stags should join up at some point during the night. Well, there's no skin off my nose for him. Uh, no, you meant to say I've got nothing to hide. I'm just joking, babe. What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, where was we? Hmm? You were trying to explain why golf isn't the most mind-numbing <laughs> sport there is. Oh. Now listen, I'm going to pretend that I didn't even hear that. Hi. Hi. You must be Amber. Last time I checked. Tara. It's Prem's daughter. Last time I checked. And this is... This is a, just a business meeting. OK. Well, it was nice meeting you, Tara. There's plenty left over. No, Tara. I've already eaten. I'll just, um, make myself invisible. Good night. Could have gone better. She's a funny age. Yeah, she'll love you for saying that. Right, so uh, in uh, publicity terms, ex uh, excuse me, uh, just uh, what, what do you reckon you can do for um, uh, my, my campaign? I mean, I, I was thinking more of a like a ground uh, ground up strategy. Something. I'm sorry, I'm lost. Are we back to business now? Well, no, I just uh... only I just thought we'd moved on. No, I mean, I mean we have. But no, no, that's fine. So I just. Must warn you that I charge out at 100 an hour for my professional advice. Cash only, no plastic. Hmm? <laughs> Stop freaking, Dev. I'm kidding. <laughs> I am so sorry. Look, please, uh, please, I'm not usually so, um... Hopeless. <sighs> no. no. OK, uh... Now I feel totally idiotic. No, please, Tara. You just... You don't understand. Um... Have a look through the material and, and get back to me. Okay, Tara, please. I'm just thinking of your father. Then I hope you'll be very happy together. Uh, see you. So, is there anything you want to tell me? Your sin. That's not how I feel. Me neither. When can we talk? When I've got something to say. Carla. Oh, I need some space. Just don't ruin tonight, okay? Mm. I do like the look of this. <laughs> Liam just popped over. Yeah, Michelle told me. I know why you're here. So, what exactly did she tell you? And how much is it going to cost me to keep out your best man speech? <laughs> how much you got? So this is the real reason you wanted to show up me? Well, I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. And Liam definitely needed some inspiration. Mm. It would have been endless sheep jokes otherwise. Did you see the dress? Just a peek. No, I am jealous. Don't be. She looked like a sack of spuds tied in the middle. Oh, it was an oversized meringue before. Let's talk about it over a drink. We've still got a bottle of bubbly in the fridge, haven't we? Oh, uh, yeah? I'd best be getting back. Maria will be wondering where I've got to. Invite her over. We'll have a party. Ta, but it's getting late. And here was me thinking you were hardcore. I'm obviously not going to have anything to worry about tomorrow. 
Well, I might just surprise you, yeah? I'm relying on it. Night, then. Night, get home safe. Good night. You're not annoyed at him coming over, are you? Why should I be? I just don't want you to think I'm going behind your back. The thought never even occurred. Mm. You taste nice. Tastes even nicer after a glass of champagne. I doubt it. A happy man. Well, Carla and Liam aren't the only Corrie characters who've had a love dilemma. See more at itv.com slash Coronation Street. So then, we're nearly there. The 12 finalists are ready, we hope, to sing in the first live show. But of course, one act will be going. Bring it on. The X Factor tomorrow night here on ITV1 at 7.15.